Hello everybody and welcome back to another exciting episode of Silence of the Sleep. Last episode was an interesting one just because we came across an oven puzzle that I didn't quite understand. Now the goal is to head upstairs and see if I can uh, do something with the key. I can't remember, did I, did I fix the key? Oop, that's not where I want to be. Did I fix the key to be upstairs? Am I upstairs right now? I don't think I am. So, I can't remember if I fixed the key, to be honest with you, so we're gonna have to go try it out and see if it works. If I can fucking find my way around. Oh! God. Okay, well, that music is, uh, holy fuck. That scared the shit out of me. Alright, well. Let's try that again. We need to go in that door. He's on the other side. We have to wait for him to go away. That's the thing. He's on the other side. As soon as he leaves, we're good. I don't know where... I don't know where he is. But we're just gonna run! We're just gonna run! We are going to just get the fuck out of Dodge. Alright. Did I fucking... It's locked. Did I not fuck with the key correctly? I can't remember. Fuck. Let's see. I've been in here already. And there was like... Okay, this is where I need to start putting shit, so... Alright, we gotta go get the last thing. Alright. So we gotta go... We gotta go fix the key. To be useful up here. To unlock that last door. That's the goal for us right now. While trying not to die via like multi-headed demon snake thing. Alright, he's here. Oh shit, did he know? Does he see me? Did he see me? No baby. Is that like a... Uh Death bringing like a child. That's really upsetting if that's true. All right, baby, stop. God, it, I think it was. I think that's exactly what that was. I wonder if each room represents somebody's death. Help, oh uh, yeah. I'm thinking these rooms represent like somebody's death, each one. Two, six, five. Three, five, eight, seven. I'll never remember that. It's fine. No big deal. That's what we need. So let's see what our key looks like right now. Our key is that one. And I'm assuming that one. So we needed this. Um, that one. Yep. And that one. Should be right. Wait, left side is two fragments for those who live higher. Oh, I needed something on the left. Um, I go. Oh, I can't remember which ones I've already done. That one, and let's go with the other one next to it. That is not it. Let's try that. Let's see if this works. Please, no goopy slidey monster. All right, relax, slidey goopy multi-headed snake demon. Um, you gotta relax. You're a little bit too excitable, if I do say so myself. Alright, come on. Work, please. Yes. 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 Perfect. Just junk, nothing of use. Can I see outside? It won't budge? Wait, what? I have nothing else to use on this. Oh, come on. I can't, like, bust into it? Hmm. Ah, there's a just- there's a letter in the box. That's useless. Uh, well, actually... Wait. I can't take it with me? What? Look, demon.
Is there anything I can do? The flashlight doesn't help. I can't take it. It won't let me take it. What the hell? I can hide. And I can't look outside. Why can't I Why can't I take it? That's my question. Because this, I would, I think, has something to do with the, the writing on the wall in the kitchen downstairs. The question is, what does it do? I can't even look at the couch. Okay, if we go downstairs in the kitchen, will it just be, like, legible now? It's not up here. Okay, I just want to check. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. What, oh, what do we have to do? You're important. Yep, I get that part. Like, can I actually look at the you're important and say... S nope, can't do anything with it. Nope. Okay. So, like... Oh, God damn it. All right, baby, stop! Hmm. I didn't miss anything in here. So I'm gonna try to go to the kitchen again. Make sure I didn't miss anything in here. Just junk. My biggest fear is that I, like, miss something that's super obscure and kind of hard to find. And there's nothing here. I already reached in and grabbed the key. Okay. I just want to make sure he goes away. Are we good? Okay. Two six five three five eight seven. Like that doesn't that doesn't mean Jack Diddley to me. I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Now, the, all the doors, I'm hoping, stay unlocked now that I've unlocked them all. This crashed. I remember that. Let's actually save it real quick so we don't end up losing progress. Okay. This doesn't reveal anything. Okay. Nothing. Like, I've been in here and there was nothing in here in the first place, right? There's a letter. He's keeping something from me. I know it. He's been so quiet. Maybe if I talk to him, that's all there is. That doesn't help me even a little bit. Okay, so here is this. There's writing on the wall. You were right. My downfall has only begun. And as I fall deeper... The light above grows fainter. Uh huh. Okay. Can't do anything here. Nope. I swear to God, if evil monster comes in here. So these apparently represent the burners, by the way. Okay, um, I figured it out because I'm a genius. It's all right, ladies. You can clamor all over the sexy, smart body later. I've got a puzzle to finish. What the hell did I even do? Let me just tell you. Answer, I don't know. No friggin' clue. But I'm okay with it because it worked. And that's all that matters. Time to go put this prism in where the gear is. Oh, shit. I don't know where it is. Uh, hide. Yeah, I can't read that at all. Alright, time to hide. 
Here we go, multi-headed demon mo monster lady with like a cross at the top. Hi! Okay, bye! It was nice seeing you, I'll see you again. Maybe we'll have a body next time and I'll take you out on that date I promised you before. No, I won't. No, I won't. Can I? you think the prism maybe would be like down there. Maybe the prism doesn't go on this. Maybe it goes downstairs where the light fell in on the table. But I'm going to try and put it on this thing anyway. Because that's my guess. Yes. Up and down keys to control the angle of the stand. Oh, down. Oh, okay. Down into the hole. Cool. So we put that down there. I always just put the giant light like light ray shaft in the gigantic hole. It's just how things work. Science, guys. Come on. Don't be gross. All right, here we go. Into here. Jesus. Run. Oh my good lord almighty. Jesus Christ on a stick. Why does everything have to make me jump? I'm such a child. Yep, 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 yep. Aha! The light. Huh, the light draws a hole in the wall. Ha! Huh, whoa! Cool! That is awesome! No monsters down here, baby! No way! God damn it. Good evening, sir. What the hell is this place? I've been waiting for you, sir. I got bored here alone. I'm sorry. I'm not much of a musician. No, you just keep playing that creepy piano music. I like it. It soothes me down to my soul. You have been way too long. I... Am I being punished for something? I told you, the road is filled with terrors, sir. But punishment is a harsh word, sir. I prefer not to use it. You are traveling towards the realization, sir. I can't make sense of any of this. It is all relative, sir. You can't make this journey all alone. Let me help you. I mean, last time I tried to argue with him, you made me cut off my arm. Or hand, rather. How? I need you to trust me. After all, I am your only friend. This house is sealed with loss. To journey further, you need to play a tune to break the seal. This tune is no stranger to you, sir. I would go as far as calling this tune your essence, sir. You define it, and it completes you. But listen to me chattering. Take this paper. It hides a secret which, with, uh, which you will need, sir. Until we meet again, sir. You got a paper with numbers and holes in it. He's gone again. Numbers and holes. My favorite. Can I not? Oh, I can. I gotta be, like, at the right spot. Uh, numbers and holes. Did that work? No. Numbers and holes. I can't rotate it. Is there anything over here? No. Am I supposed to figure this out? One, two, three. Like, I can't superimpose it over the piano. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Did it just move on its own by my, on, on, oh, no. So it looks like it would, it's supposed to sit right here. But where, where am I supposed to be plopping this thing? One, two, three. I don't know where this is supposed to go. I don't know. Hmm. I am going to... Hmm. Maybe it has, I'm trying to think, maybe it has nothing to do with the piano and I have to go back out there. Was there anything I wasn't able to uh, figure out puzzle-wise while we were out there? I mean, there's that, 
that note and oh there was that code on the mirror There was that code on the mirror, because that, that, the code did nothing. Would that be, okay. I'm trying to think. Would that code on the mirror actually be, um, well, let's go, let's go look at it. Gotta, I gotta figure it out. I don't want to go cheat or anything, if unless I absolutely have to, like, completely have no idea what the fuck's happening. I don't want to have to cheat. Not in here. Now up here. And it's not in here. We already read that. Okay. So the mirror is in there? I can't remember. It's in one of these, I'm pretty sure. It might even be this one. It is. 265 265-3581. Well, two six five three five eight one. Two six five three five eight one. Remember that two six five three five eight one. I can't see anything because he's here somewhere. Two six five three five eight one. Oh, he's gonna come after me, and I don't have a place to hide. Two six five. Three five eight one. I'm right, sorry. I gotta keep repeating it to myself, or I'm gonna fucking forget. No! Jesus fucking Christ! Two six five three five eight one. 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 All right. Well, we're here again. Ugh. Let's go back here. Let's see if we can figure this out. Piano. Two six five three five eight one. Two six two two six five three five eight. No. They didn't do it. Two six five three five eight one. Two six five three five eight one. I don't understand it, so I'll be right back as I go figure it out. Okay. Holy crap, is this puzzle super ex obscure, at least to people like me. I had to do a little bit of research because I guess a lot of people were having trouble with this puzzle. So I'm not the only one, but for the sake of pushing the series forward and not sitting here for three episodes trying to rack my brain and figure it out, I dug, man. I dug and figured it out. We need to go upstairs and supposedly in a room, uh, the paper gets used. So uh, they told me what room it was and it makes sense. I don't understand how I was supposed to figure that out. But that's beside the point. We're going upstairs either way. There is, um, whoa! Go, run, bitch, run, bitch! The stupid, annoying creature. He scares me because not just, he's creepy looking, or she's creepy looking, could be at her. Uh, not because of just the way she looks, but the noise that accompanies her scares the shit out of me. This, right here. Remember this? Remember this? Here we go. So we have to go over here. And there's a letter on the in the box. That right there, apparently, once I put that over it, I, uh, understand it. Like, the blurry words come to fruition. Didn't even think about that, to be honest. That was not something I thought about because it doesn't make sense in my brain. Doesn't matter. That's what we need to hit, uh, in, I'm assuming, one, two, three, uh, that many times each, uh, presumably. So, that's what we're going to end up doing. Now we gotta go back. Now if I hold it, it'll just it'll just hold it there, so. Yeah, fuck me sideways. Get away from me, monster man. Get away from me, 
monster man. Here he comes. I'm already missing, bruh. I'm not even here, bruh. You're going the wrong way, bruh. All right, enough of that garbage. I wish I could like jump down that hole over here. That would make my life so much easier if I could just be like, excuse me, I'm just gonna jump down this hole right here. All right. I'm assuming it's it's through here. Hey, buddy! And there he goes. So when he's in a room, the lights are just gone. Straight up gone, so. Alright, he is... There he goes. So we can make a run for it now. And hope that he does not see me. And we need to go this way. Is it in here? Nope. I can never remember. I get disoriented quickly. Not my fault. Don't blame me. Cut through. Oh, nope. Not in here. Sorry. Wrong way. Oh, man. The alien thing is going to be out here. Whoop! He somehow did not see me. Is there a place I can hide? There is. Is he coming in here, though? I'm listening. Sounds like he's outside. The question is, does the time actually slow? Because if it does, that's actually kind of a little annoying. So we should be way back there. Yeah. All right. Let's save it. So we don't lose that progress in case we run into a spindly monster who wants us dead. Down here. All right. Now let's see if we can figure this out. All right. Here we go. So it wants me to go... DD and then E E F F F Oh god, I got to hit it in order. 2653581 2653581, right? 2 6 5 3 Five, eight, one. Ha ha! Yes! Yeah! Beautiful. Ah, uh, this is not good. Everything's burning. Run, dude! Don't just stand there, bro. All right, whatever. Just burn. I don't give a shite. Sure, 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 absolutely. Are you gonna get up or? No, I can't, I, nothing I do makes him move. Ah, da, 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 da. There's some wonderful, there's some wonderful music in this game, I will say that. Very moody. Oh boy. Some Tim Burton esque shit going on right now. What? What can you see, Jacob? I see my journey. Pain. Good. And a woman.
Chapter 3, The Treatment. My favorite chapter. Uh, chapter 3, The Treatment. Probably better than The Cure, let's put it that way. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Alright. Thank you, Jacob. We should call it a day. You arrived at such a short notice. It's getting late and you should head to bed. I'll show you around first thing tomorrow morning. So am I getting like therapy? No, no. Am I just napping in the chair? All right, good night. Just don't worry about it, dude. I'm gonna stay in the chair. You leave me here. Mm, you know what? Mm. No, thank you. Jacob, time to wake up. My favorite. Where the hell am I now is right. Huh? My flashlight's gone. Oh, God. Day one, the place in the mist. What? Chapter three, day one? Did I just flicker? Did my character just flicker a little bit? Junk, I don't need it. Yeah, you don't need it until you fucking come out here and you're dead. Good morning, Jacob. How'd you sleep? Ugh, morning. Hey, I know you from the motel. You do? Let's talk through these things later, Jacob. But now, follow closely and I'll show you around. Yeah, patient room six. Perfect. So we're in we're in a mental hospital. Oh yes, your room is a number is number six. Of course it is. That's probably gonna be important. We have nine patients uh, patient rooms here in Moon Peaks Care. You can find most of these rooms in this hallway. You can move freely about them, uh, but remember the good man. Remember good manners, Jacobs. Okay, let us continue. All right, where are we going there, sir? What's happening and why? Oh, the clock! Here we have one of the main wards of our care. Most of the second floor is a simple square, so getting around is pretty easy. But I'll show you. Come on, Jacob. Thank you, buddy. Let's do this. Uh, from here, you can go to our little entertainment. This is where the people usually gather for recreation. Once we're finished with the tour, be sure to check it out. I can't go now. There's a gigantic clock. There's a guy with a tie. Here we have our fireplace. Nothing quite as relaxing as the sound of fire and the flickering of flames. Hey, Doc! Morning, Mark. How are you today? Pretty good, thank you, Doc. Who's this? We have a new patient? Yes, Mark. This is Jacob. Welcome to the loony bin, Jacob. Great. Jacob arrived here late yesterday evening. Would you give him a little breathing room, Mark? Uh, of course. Sorry, Doc. That's fine, Mark. I'm sure you, will, you two will get along well. But now, where were we? Uh, there is a saving place, actually. So... Uh, now from here you can get to both our entertainment and art therapy rooms, but uh, we keep the art therapy room locked when we don't use it You'll get uh, you'll get to see it at some point. It's really a breathtaking place And I actually can't use a safe spot Far end you can find the elevator that will take you to the first floor. It's smaller than living quarters up here uh, But we go there every now and then to eat for example, but let's not go there now, but up here come Jacob He just like flickered in it's uh, do you have superpowers, sir? No, you're just crazy. Here you can find the bathrooms. Not much else to say. Let's continue. Thanks. Wait, Jacob. What's the rush? I don't know. The tour is probably going to go horribly wrong very shortly. The rest of the patient's rooms. Oh, that window shit's going to happen, man. And here is my office. I always keep my door locked when I'm not present. But if you see me through the window and I don't look busy, too busy, you are welcome to talk to me. All right, let's get back to your room. This way, Jacob. Thanks, buddy. Shit is this is interesting. This is a got it went it took a totally different like turn here. Sorry, Jacob. I'm awfully busy now, so it was a pretty short tour, but feel free to look around. Once you're familiar with the places and people, come talk to me. We can be in your very first hypnotherapy. All right, thank you, Jacob, and see you later. Thanks, Mr. Ah, pardon me. Clifford Russell at your service. All right, thanks, Clifford. All right, Clifford. Thanks, bro. I'm gonna need to get used to this place and figure out just where and what uh, everything is, but that'll be for another time. So thank you guys so much for coming by this relatively longer episode. I hope you guys are excited. Things just took a really weird turn. I'm excited to see where it'll end up leading. If you did enjoy it, come back tomorrow and have some more Silence of the Sleep and consider dropping a like as your support means the world to me. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.